Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video will be solving end chapter problem 7.56 from step response of an RL circuit and this is on the request of a student. So as we have learned in the, uh, from this chapter that for RL circuit we find the current IT which is given by this formula and uh, what is this formula indicates let's see the initial inductor current I0 so this is initial inductor current I0 and it is calculated at T is equal to 0 minus now what is the concept of T is equal to 0 minus is if we look at this time scale this is where T is, is equal to 0 point is before this is t less than 0 immediately before is a point we call it t 0 minus and immediately after the point is also known as t 0 plus then this is t greater than 0 and this is t greater greater than 0 now the circuit in this region for t less than 0 is in a steady state condition and so inductor is considered to be short circuit. Similarly uh, circuit in t greater greater than 0 or t infinity is also in a steady state and the inductors are considered to be short circuit. But in immediately after t, uh, t 0 that is t greater than 0 the circuit is in transient state and here inductor is not considered to be short circuit so this point you have to keep in mind okay so we find the inductor current i0 first of all then we find time constant tau in the transient period within this period and then we find the current known as i infinity at t greater greater than zero or t infinity here so let's proceed this is the question we have to find vt voltage across the inductor so as i mentioned that we have to find these parameters so first of all we find i0 now it is the current through inductor so this current is it so let's write it so we mark it as i or it this is the current For t less than 0, the circuit is in a steady state condition, this switch is closed. It will open at t is equal to 0, so it is closed. Because the circuit is in a steady state condition, the inductor will be now considered to be short circuit, so this is shorted. And the current will now be called I0 because we are considering it for t less than 0. So we need to find this current I0. Now, you can use several techniques that you have learnt uh, by Ohm's law, combining these in parallel, various techniques. But I think the easiest technique is uh, if we redraw the circuit, you can see this one we have redrawn. And now from here, it looks as if that by nodal analysis, it will be easier to find this current. So I'll follow that. For nodal analysis, you know that we need a voltage here, reference voltage. So we call this voltage as Vx. So first of all, we'll find Vx and then we'll find I0. So to find uh, the current at nodal analysis is the current entering equals current leaving. Now these two currents are entering this one and this one. And these three are leaving. So we write the equation 2 plus this current can be written as 20 minus Vx divided by 5. If you have difficulty understanding this, I will recommend that you watch my video on nodal analysis. Okay, and then on the right side, current leaving, so voltage divided by this resistance Vx12, Vx20, Vx divided by 6. So this is the current leaving solving we find vx first so i have done all these steps you can just go through these steps the final answer we get is 
12 volt Vx and now I0 is Vx over 6 from here Vx over 6 which is equal to 12 over 6 that is equal to 2 ampere. So we have found the first parameter. This one we have found. So the second step is to find tau and tau is defined as uh, for RL circuit it is L over R where R is the R equivalent or it is also called R thevenin. And we are at T greater than 0 so we are here the circuit is in transient state and therefore inductor will not be short circuited. So let's see this is the circuit which is open so what is left is this and inductor is not short circuited. Now we need to find R equivalent and we know that for R equivalent or R thevenin uh, we have to make the source zero. So for voltage we uh, replace it by short circuit. So the voltage source is replaced by short circuit. And now we look from here to see the equivalent uh, resistance. You can see from here that this resistance and this is in parallel. Uh, we can redraw it. So here 20 and this 5 comes in parallel and if you are looking from here then these two in parallel will be 4 ohms plus 6 in series will be 10 ohms. So we can say that our equivalent is 6 plus 20 into 5 in parallel uh, which will be 4 ohm. So the total value is 10 ohms. So our equivalent we have found we know L is 0 0.5. So tau will be L over R, 0 0.5 over 10 is equal to 0 0.05 seconds. So we have found the second parameter, that is tau. Now let's go to the third parameter, I infinity for T greater greater than 0. The switch is again open. So this is the circuit. And now the circuit is in steady state condition, so inductor will be short circuited. Okay, and we need to find this current which is now called I infinity. So this is the circuit and you can use any of the techniques that we have learned to find this current. Uh, let's see, simplify the circuit as we did before, so this is the simplified circuit. And from here, if you want to use the nodal analysis, yes, you can do that. We uh, name the voltage here as V1 and find I uh, infinity by nodal analysis. You can do that. But I think there is an easier way that is with the source transformation. So what I have done is I have transformed this into a current source in parallel with the resistance. The current source will be 20 divided by 5, 4 ampere, 4 ampere in the direction of this one. And now from here you can see all three in parallel. So what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, combine these two. So the circuit becomes easier. So combining 20 and 5 in parallel makes 4 ohms. And now we have two branches so we can easily find the current in this branch. We know that the formula is that total current, which is 4 ampere, divided by total resistance 6 and 4, multiplied by opposite arm. So we're finding current in this branch, so we multiply by the resistance of the opposite arm. So I infinity is 1.6. Okay, now we have found all three parameters. So our final equation, we plug in the values. So this is the final equation simplify uh, this is the final value of it now in the question this is asked to find vt so we need to find vt uh, we have found it and the formula for vt we know is that it is l di by dt so l is 0.5 or half and i we have found so plug in take the differential and solving and solving the final answer will be Vt is equal to minus 4 e raised to the power minus 20 t volt. So I hope uh, and this gives you an idea how you can very easily solve this type of problems which apparently looks 
complicated but if you follow these steps it will become very easy thank you